I'm proud of what I've done. I'm a joyful person, full of life. I love life and I love women. The Italian people have noticed that too, but they're not all so proud of him. His latest indiscretion, this young Moroccan arrested for theft told police she had been paid €7,000 to come to a party at Silvio Berlusconi's villa while she was a minor. Berlusconi intervened to secure the young woman's release, passing her off as the niece of the Egyptian president. And when the press got wind of the story, he declared, Better to love pretty girls than to be gay. This time it was one provocation too many for an Italian public that has heard enough of its Prime Minister's conquests. Why does he do nothing to help us? We're suffering here. Instead of running after girls, why doesn't he do something for us? Berlusconi should resign. I think Berlusconi should have resigned a long time ago. He can't go on like this. An idea mooted by Gianfranco Fini, Speaker of the Chamber of Deputies and a former ally of Berlusconi. The government is surviving, but it has lost the direction it was supposed to take, its program for building the Italy of tomorrow. If Berlusconi wants to show his love for his country, the best way to do it is to resign. And Fini did not hesitate to attack the Prime Minister for his moral shortcomings. I regret the passing of the days when morals were respected, and I think a lot of Italians do too. A serious split has opened between the two men. Fini had merged his National Alliance party with Berlusconi's three years ago, and the two men won the legislative elections together. But relations deteriorated to the point that in July Berlusconi expelled Fini from the party, a move that could cost him dearly. Four government ministers come from Fini's party. If a new government is not formed, they could resign. Berlusconi won a vote of confidence in Parliament in September. Now he will probably have to face early elections. Sources close to Berlusconi says he has no intention of yielding, but last Sunday he looked troubled as he waited for Chinese President Hu Jintao. On Monday he cancelled a planned appearance at a national conference on the family in Milan, presumably for fear of further attacks.